have you back here on the Wipeout Bowl. We are deep in the second half here, Johnny, the Wipeout Zone, where it is still cheerleaders versus couch potatoes. Our cheerleader, Ali Bundren, is in first place. Super Stu Yasutaki has yet to run, but first, we'll see this woman, Monica Kaufman. Let's see how she got to the Wipeout Zone. Monica Babyface Kaufman couldn't resist a mud bath in our qualifier. She hosed our competition away and became the first person to top the Kingdom Mountain. She made her way across the Dizzy Dummy and cheered herself right into our wipeout zone. The rain continues to fall, and there she is, sitting atop the Aqua Launch, ready for her shot at the $50,000. A little pep talk from Allie there. Yeah, uh, does she realize that they're actually competing against each other? Love the sportsmanship. She's off the clock is ticking. <laughs> wow, getting a very long launch into the water of the wipeout zone. Look at the replay, Johnny. This is how you do it. Yeah, but landing a little bit like putt egg right there. Well, she's making great time up to the raging rapids. So far, her time, best of the day. No joke, John. She is really flying up that ramp. But John, something tells me that thousand gallons of sports drink is going to send her back in time. And there she goes into the water. Let's take a look at that replay. You know, a thousand gallon sports drink tidal wave has had its way with both the cheerleaders and the couch potatoes. Like an orange colored flume ride, John, and she is already back up on the obstacle, ready to give it a second go. Indeed, Johnny, she's making great time. Already she's nearing the top of the Raging Rapids, getting a blistering pace here in our wipeout zone. But that could all change because now she's going to have her first date with a crazy sweeper. A cautious approach here, scoping out. She's up and those pom-poms are really chasing her down. Actually, you know, it's pom-pom, P-O-N-P-O-M-S. Oh, I didn't realize that because I'm a man. Man, look how close she came there, but she's oh on the turntable. Mm. Nice. And with only one obstacle remaining, she's got more than four minutes left to make it through the turntable. Take a look at Allie's face, John. I get the feeling she knows her time is in jeopardy at this point. Monica already safely onto the second turntable. Now on to the third one, setting an amazing pace here. She just has one jump left and she will have the new time to beat. Oh, fantastic, Johnny. Look at that Hall of Fame stuff. Four minutes, 20 seconds. Our baby face cheerleader, Monica, setting the time to beat and we may well be looking at our very first female wipeout champion. Not if Super Stu has anything to say about it. He's down on the field with Jill right now. You watch superstars on the couch every week. How does it feel to be on the opposite side and actually be one? You know what, I hope there's a lot of people out there that uh, find a little hope, a little inspiration through Super Stu. Super Stu's bringing it, Wipeout! Super Stu Yasutaki made a super first impression in our qualifier and continued to vocalize his superiority on the King of the Mountain. My God! His superpower stayed with him on the Dizzy Dummy and he became the first couch potato to make it into the Wipeout Zone. Super Stu! Whoa! Let's do this! So it boils down to this, one couch potato, one cheerleader. That seems appropriate here, John, in the first wipeout bowl. There's the buzzer, and he's away. He's away. He's away. And he's away. Yeah, launch it into the wipeout zone. No fear. Woo! Shredding the gnar! Shredding the gnar indeed, Stu. Let's take a look at that replay. Looks like he flew off that bear belt. Yeah, good idea. Lead with the belly. Super Stu skydiving into the wipeout zone. Shredding the gnar. Now on the waterfall, Niagara Falls. Super Stu making his way up the raging rapids, but he has yet to survive the thousand gallon sports drink tidal wave. Will our wipeout ball champ be a cheerleader or a couch protect? No, oh, oh, oh. down he goes. That's actually less than super. <laughs> Take another look, John, at this punishing hit. That is class five rapids right there, Johnny. But he's hanging in there and already back onto the raging rapids. Can't get any more of this water in me. Pretty hydrated. Well, a self-proclaimed well-hydrated super stew is making his way back up the raging rapids on his second attempt, and he looks to have finally reached the top, John. Looking up a natural rock climber. Well, he's certainly a natural at something, but he's only 15 seconds off the pace set by our leader. John, could a couch potato actually win this thing? If anybody could, it's Super Stu, because, you know, he's super. That's what he keeps telling us, but if he's going to do it, he's going to have to survive the crazy sweep. There you go. Here. And there he goes, making a run for it. Oh! oh. oh. 
the sweeper arm catches up to him, sends him into the water. And he's going to have to get serious because if you remember, Monica Kaufman didn't wipe out at all on the sweeper. Whoa! Almost took a header. That would have been bad. With about 50 seconds remaining, Stu's going to need to giddy up, and he's making a sprint for it. That sweeper arm closing in on him, moving over to the pedestal. Stutter step there. A leap. A leap, and he makes it. Three <laughs> words, John. Couch potato pride. I can't believe I just did that. I gotta be honest, too, I can't either. All right, he still has 30 seconds to make it through this obstacle. Johnny, I never would have believed it, but this is gonna be a close one. Will it be a cheerleader or a couch potato? He's on to that second turntable. The clock ticking away. One more turntable. Who will win it all? The leap. Oh, and Super Stu takes a dive. He will not be our champ. Cheerleader babyface Monica Kaufman, champion of the very first ever Wipeout Bowl. You're the first female winner. You just won $50,000.